Hey guys, Alex and I are back with another candy trying video, but this week... Yeah, we're back in Australia. Yes, this will be our third box now, won't it? Yeah, now, the first time people weren't a big fan of our Australian accent. No. Second time we decided not to do the accent. Third time, it could go anywhere. Maybe we could push the vote out and say, yeah. G'day, mate. <laughs> don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't say that. Anyway, so third box, and really, I don't think we've seen much of this before. No, I recognise our knots, but we haven't tried no, these ones. No, and I am so happy about this. Do you remember this? Oh, wasn't that that Chocito. thing we loved? Chocito, yeah, absolutely delicious. So should we start with the letter as always? Didn't you end up having the rest of that because it was your birthday or something? <laughs> But I I've like, read ahead. Then I say, oh, you can have this because it's your birthday. Maybe or I've read ahead, and it says under Chiquito, just because I en I saw you enjoyed them so much before. Hey. So she's put them in just because Chiquito. she knows we enjoyed them. Okay, so little note here says, hey Kate and Alex, my name is Ruby, and I've been watching your videos for over a year now, and I've been wanting to send you a box of Australian lollies. Yes, I always forget Australians call candy and sweets lollies. lollies. So Australian lollies, chockies and snacks. I've tried choosing stuff I had from my childhood as well as quintessential Aussie treats and things that sound too dinky dyke you can't ignore. Hope you enjoy it and I can't wait to hear your thoughts, Ruby. Thank you so much, Ruby. So pleased you've been enjoying our videos and how awesome that we have another Australian box. Yeah. So she's listed everything that's in the box. So should we start savoury? Yeah. Should we get them all out? Yeah. These Pringles are interesting. It says barbecue sausage and onion flavour. But have you seen it? It's like a hot dog in a piece of bread. Yeah. <laughs> folded oh, in, in a, a piece, piece of bread. bread. Yeah, it's not like a, a bun. It's a piece of bread folded in half with onions well, on top. Maybe that's a real, you know, Australian food. Like, well, that's at least what we know do. they definitely put sausages on the barbecue. Yeah, they do. <laughs> maybe they eat it like that with the with a piece of bread. Yeah, we can start with that. So barbecue. That's like we've done that before. You wouldn't intentionally do it, but if you've got some like sausages or hot dogs, but you have no buns, you'll put it in you a piece of bread. Some bread. There are new flavour of Pringles. Sausages are very loved in Australia. Look up bunning snags. So this is a classic. Not sure if they taste like sausages. Although people said they don't say shrimp on the barbie, okay, because they say prawns like most countries do, but. Australians do like barbecues. They do. Because they're Southern Hemisphere, I've heard of people in um, Australia having a barbecue for Christmas. That's a real thing. Yeah. I bet so many people will say I've that's not true. I've had friends that go to uh, Australia for Christmas and have barbecue. The, and try one of these. The Bunning Sausage Sizzle, a delicious barbecue snack in bread. That's actually a thing. Uh -huh. And it's like in a pan. The Bunning, the Bunning Sausage. And then they've got it, they've mm, got the them like all in. A little bit like cooked underneath. Soaked yeah. up the juices. Mm. These are more like the Japanese Pringles. They're tiny. They're a little bit smaller, aren't they? They're, they're quite flat as well. Good flavour, though. Mm. These remind me of barbecue Pringles, the Texas barbecue ones, but there's a slight... No, they don't really. Not to me. They just make me think of, like, sour cream and chive. Mm. Maybe can't, I'm... I can't taste any sausage or any barbecue, I don't think. Really? Put that bit down. Maybe barbecue and the sour cream mm. and chive mix. There's plenty of flavour on that. Mm. I really like those. That's great flavour, isn't it? What are you giving those? I'm going to say a nine. Yeah, they're really good flavour. Nine for me. More or not? No, I'm good. And I like the size of those. Sometimes our Pringles are a little too big, and I like to put them all in at once. It's like a retainer. Good, <laughs> good shape. <laughs> okay, which ones do you want to go for next? French fries. French fries, yep. Proudly Australian made. These chips used to always excite me for some reason as a kid. They're basically thin chips, but cut to look like French fries, hence the name. See, Remember those other them... ones that were really tiny yeah. bits? Did we really have anything like this in the UK? I don't think so. We have things called French fries, mm. but they're, they're more sticks, aren't they? We've recently had a few of these from Canada mm. and America. Because well, these are really like shredded almost, mm. aren't they? These mm. are nice. Salty. It's got a really good flavour, haven't mm. it? In the back it says, do the right thing, and it's got a picture of a man putting it in the bin. They're really nice. In some ways, I think they're just as good as the Pringles. They are as good as the Pringles. There's something about... I'd give them a nine, same as the Pringles. And I can understand what uh, Ruby means about when she was younger, it excites her. Like, mm. something like that would have excited me as well when I was younger. Mm. Yeah, definitely as good as Pringles. Yeah, it's 
So good. Jumpies? Yep, these look cute. Chicken flavoured, crunchy potato snacks. She says, one of my favourite childhood chips. Their shape is kangaroos and usually come in original and chicken, but I could only find chicken. We don't really have many chicken crests, do we? Only the Walker's chicken. Yeah, and then Sensations have got some. Have they? But we've already had like a couple of chicken flavours from, from Australia, haven't we? Remember those really good vegan chicken oh, ones Oh yeah, they were amazing. These like pom bears shaped. Oh my God, like they really ones. are shaped. Hold on. Didn't we used to have something like this in England? No. I definitely think we used to have something like this in England. And UK people out there, do let us know. For some reason I was picturing salt and vinegar. I think ours used to be salt and vinegar. Mm. You know what that tastes like? Oh. Like chicken stock. Yeah. Like I was gonna say. a veggie stock cube. Mm. They're interesting. Mm. They're quite like um, dense They're actually. really salty. I thought they were going to have um, quite a lot of air in them mm. because of the body, but quite dense. I feel like they've got like a lot of grease in them as well, mm. don't they? They are salty. Mm. Out of the ones so far, they're my least favourite, I think. I kind of really like them. I do still like them. I think mm. they're probably as good. They're moorish. Really moorish. They really are like a stock cube in a good way, like extra salty. I'm going to give them an eight and a half just under the other two. Mm. I'm gonna give them an eight. Mm, that's so good. Mm. These are Samboy. It's a chip brand that has been around for a very long time. It's also the same brand as the French fries. They have other flavors, but this is the only one I've seen in the shops. Do you know what? America and Australia are the only ones I've seen so far. Proudly Australian made. We are never proud in yeah, England, are we? Yeah, but that's probably because most of our stuff isn't made here. Oh, it's, yeah, probably it's probably made probably other made. places and brought here. You know, I love that packaging. Do you not think it's like a comic book? I yeah, I reckon even companies now in the UK who make food, probably so much of it is made it's, in another and country and brought here. Oh, these are rigid. Or they're not proud. Who knows? Maybe they're not proud. <laughs> Apparently we're men just hate ourselves. Mm. It's more like a... Um, I've spoken about this before. You can have curry. so many different barbecues. You can have sweet mm. barbecue. This is more like a curry. Yeah. I couldn't think of the word until you just mm. said that. Almost like curry, doesn't it? It's actually like curry. These are so interesting. Mm. They're definitely like a curry. Mm. Mm, a nice. curried barbecue. So different. Mm. Mm. I'll probably give them a seven and a half, eight. I think I'll probably give them an eight, same as these. Mm. Very good. Very good. Very good. And then we have these. These are spiced walnuts. Purely just got these because A, they're perfect beer snack, <laughs> thinking of Alex, and B, they're made in the, in my home state of Victoria. These but are called Boondaroo. Boondaroo, gourmet range, local Victorian walnuts. Mm. Mm. And in the bottom, you can see in the bottom how much flavor's on them. These look like they're gonna be great, don't they? Do you like some, Madam? Thank you. Spice, does it say? Yeah, spice. So these can be a bit curried. Very oh, good, got a lovely mm. flavour. They have a slight aftertaste that I'm not the biggest fan of. They do have an aftertaste, but I think sometimes walnuts do just have an aftertaste. Mm. These were so good though. Yeah. You want know Mama? I'm good, thank you. Because oh. I'm excited to get about moving what's on. in here. Okay, should we get all the biscuits out? Are you just going to enjoy that chocolate Cheeto at some other point? Yeah, there's two. Oh, there's one for each of us. So you can have one. I can have one. Right. And uh, if you didn't know, I gave that a 10 out of 10. It's a chewy caramel fudge, I'm pretty sure crunchy we gave it an 11. ball, and loads of chocolate. You'd oh, expect well. nuts to be in something like that. No, but it's it's, in a way, although I do like things that are nutty, it's in a way, so it's so good that mm -hmm. it hasn't. 10 out of 10. Right, we've got some biscuits here. Biscuit boys. All from what the brand. Oh. They're like little biscuit with a dip. Yeah. Should we get those out as well? Yes, we have we've to. got two of those. Now, these are all our knots. We heard last time that this is a really popular brand. Well, our knots are the big biscuit boys. They're like the captain of biscuits. These are called Iced Vovo. These look awesome. These almost look like iced uh, party rings. Oh, they do, but instead they're kind of flat. Instead these of are our knots TikTok. I no, think we go oh, yeah. Vovo. Our knots do Tim Tam. While we're talking about it, if you'd like to watch our Tim Tam Ooh. challenge. Oh, oh, we have challenge. to. We have, Tim Tam Slam. We have there. to say that because on our other two videos where we've tried Tim Tams, people always say, "Oh, you need do to do the it." Tim Tam but we've slam. done it, so check it out. We'll link it there. These Ooh. look interesting. Little bit of coconut desiccate on top. 
which you're not so sure yeah. about. Yeah. See, but this would the little been, jammy bit in the middle seems like really nice. Jam and cream. I'm just a bit gutted about the desiccated coconut. It's part. funny. It's like there should be yeah. one on top. Yeah, that'd be awesome. That'd be that. really cool. Maybe I'll try that in a minute. All right, now give me that. Mm. You go first. How's that? Mmm. Mmm. That's better. We know how to eat. Mm. What's nice is the desiccated coconut isn't too much. It just gives no. a nice little bit of chew or something. I, I um, love the little bit of jam. Mm. Yo, Arnold's been baking for 150 years. This is a treasured biscuit mm. favourite topped with pink fondant, a strip mm. of jammy raspberry topping and a sprinkling of coconut. An Australian icon since 1906. That's really good. Very good, aren't they? If we had, had something like this in the UK, I think we'd buy it. Mm. They're delicious. Go for these. TikToks and it's got a little clock on. They probably didn't know about the um, the app when they made this name. Oh yeah, look, it's got a clock, and some are pink, some are white. What time does yours say? Eleven o'clock. Mine says quarter past five. Oh my word, they've all got different times. And this one cool. says uh, half three. <laughs> How funny. A very thin layer of icing, which is crunchy. Mm. It is very like a party ring, mm. but I think the biscuit on a party ring is also crunchier. It's really tasty though. Mm. It's like a, just a vanilla biscuit. Mm. Can't go wrong with that. I'd love to see what happens if you dip that into. I wonder why they thought about oh, making it into a clock. Oh, so what she said here for TikToks. Another childhood favorite. I used to scratch off the numbers and hands with my teeth and then either eat it like that or bite off the icing as well. That's such like a kid thing to do. Yeah. Like when I was younger, I wouldn't just eat a biscuit. I would always like play around with do it first. Do something with it. Okay. Oh yeah. That's quite fun to do actually. They actually come off. Oh, remember the health the oh, health star yeah. rating. This has got a 0.5. No, you don't have it. These don't have it on. Is that called a mint slice? This is called a mint slice. One of my favourite biscuits. Not sure if you'll enjoy these, but it's chocolate biscuit with a layer of mint cream and covered in chocolate. I used to bite off the cream and just eat the biscuit, but anyway, you eat them, they're good. Mint isn't too strong. Oh. It's made with real mint oil as well, it says. It's, no. a, it's got that really soft chocolate, chocolate, which in Australia must just melt, mustn't it? Surely. Now that's what I was expecting from a Girl Scout cookie. Mm. Look at that. I know people in I've... America like the Girl Scouts thin mints, but honestly, if they were like that... They'd be mm. even more soft. Yeah. I think this is the best mint biscuit I've ever had. Yeah, that's so good. For anyone new, I'm not a fan of milk chocolate mint and chocolate. That's probably why Ruby said she probably didn't think I was going to enjoy them. Mm. But these are absolutely delicious and they really aren't too strong, are they? They've got like the perfect amount of mint cream to chocolate, mm -hmm. the perfect amount of crunch. And I do think it's because it's made with pure mint oil. Mint oil, yeah. Arnott's know how to make biscuits. Well, they're Ooh, the big this biscuit is Nestle. boys. Yeah, this is Nestle's. Nestle Stars Dunkaroos Choc Hazelnut Dip made of real hazelnuts. Now, this sounds like something right up your street. So, this street. is going to be a bit like Nutella, I'm guessing. Oh, wow. Look at Ooh, that. lovely. Dunkaroos. This is the cutest little kid mm. snack. Well, we don't have to be a child to have it. Mmm. Oh, biscuit's nice. Yeah, lovely biscuit. I quite like that um, hazelnut spread because mm. it's not too strong. You find that less strong than Nutella? Yeah. It might be because I've just had mint there. Mm. <laughs> I can still taste mint. <laughs> I've got, still got like the cooling effect mm. on my tongue. Mm. Mm. You have that last little one? No, no, you have it. Do you want the other pack for a bike ride? Maybe. Mmm. <laughs> That's really good. I love little gimmicky things like this. I much I prefer just love that dunkers. <laughs> to Nutella. I think you love Dunkers. Dunkers is the best. Yeah, you and those cheese ones as well. I love the cheese ones, but you really love the cheese ones, don't you? It looks like you like playing with your food. I like dunking my food. <laughs> <laughs> and the proportion of Nutella to biscuit, it's usually you get far more biscuit to the Nutella. Mm, it's got loads left got over there. Oh, that so much went on your top. <laughs> Always had a bit of poo on your top. Believe it or not, I'm actually going to be putting the mint biscuits number one. They're 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. I'm then going the Dunkaroos. Yeah, Dunkaroos are a nine. And then, oh, do you know what? What are you going next? I'm going Vovo. Me too. Nice Vovo. And then I'm going TikTok. The Kesha. Yeah. <laughs> Wake up in the morning feeling like you did it. 
Yeah, so that's a turn up Good for Good set of biscuits, it? yeah. Good set of bickies. Do you really reckon they great. call them bickies? I don't know, what did she say? Well, they call chockies. sweets lollies, don't they? Yeah, maybe. And chockies. Bickies. And a tin of beer is a tinny. No, it's not. A tinny. Really? A tinny. That's what I've heard from a YouTuber I watch. Yo. You. 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 Oh, there's Bondi something Harvest. else um, that is kind of snacky. These. See, I thought Oval Team was um, what you drink before. Before bed, yeah. Is it? No. I think so. Anyway, basically like Milo, which is that chocolate. Oh yeah, Milo, which is that chocolate powder. <laughs> Milo. <laughs> Milo. But in a very small, compact form. My friend used to have them at school. I can see them being like snacks. I oh, think... so these are a bit like those, um, remember from Chex America? Mix. No, no not sorry, Chex sorry. Mix. The Chips Ahoy. Were they Chips Ahoy? Yeah. What's that? that crunch. Is, oh, we've got some Crunch and Chips Ahoy one. I don't remember the Chips right. Ahoy. I just remember the Crunch one, which had little bits of nut and biscuit and chocolate in. What? These look great. Smarty snacks, sweet and salty. These are so interesting. It's a choc malt treat. What? Yeah, I swear Oval Teen is a malt Oh, like, do you know drink. I'm thinking of Horlicks. Horlicks, it is. It's the same kind of thing, I think. But doesn't it make you sleepy? I'm sure there is one of those drinks called Oval Team. Mm, I'm sure there is. Mm, so interesting. It tastes like that. Yeah. Doesn't it? But it also tastes like the inside of UK Malteser. But that's what those like before malt. bed malt drinks are. Oh my word. They're so good, aren't they? They're really nice. Mm. At first it's, it was interesting because it's like a tablet. It's like chocolatey, isn't it? But then when it gets in your mouth, it's like a Malteser whopper, you know. Do you know what's in here? No. Pretzels, Smarties. Mm. This is so great, look. She said something about this. And there's some almonds there as well. Okay, so here we go. She says, don't know if you have Smarties. We do. However, let's see what your Smarties it's are like, because different. we recently tried Canadian Smarties and they well, were very those. different. So we do, but even though we have Smarties, we don't have anything like this. Hmm. Isn't that funny? They're basically M&Ms. The mix is only available at 7-Eleven and reminds me of the American Chex Mix you guys have tried. It needs more Smarties though. Yeah, they're like not in there. No, hardly any. Look, there's not enough Smarties no. there, is there? I love this stuff though. So Australians have 7-Eleven mm. as well. Good though, isn't it? Our Smarties are more like Australian Smarties mm. than Canadian. But there is a flavour difference, I think. Yeah. Slightly. Interesting, but like Alex was saying, there's not enough Smarties in there, considering it's the brand Smarties. Yeah, I want a bit more chocolate. Yeah. It's okay. like all pretzel. Mm. And it's not like the pretzels are flavoured or anything. So that's They're just like salty. I probably would only give that a five. I'd give it a six. Flavours weren't great. So we've got Whiz Fizz, a childhood treat. It's sherbet with a shade in to scoop it up. A shade? It's a shade. A shard. A shard? Is it? I that's all I can think. Unless Australians called a spade a shade. Unless that's a typo and we're... <laughs> could you imagine this whole time we're like, Oh, do Australians, Ooh, Australians call it a shade? Call it, yeah, they don't and use spades. And it's a spades. simple typo. So we've got a few here, so if we love them. They're all the same flavour. We have something kind of like this in the UK. Oh, I don't know. Original, yeah, original, original, original. They've all got different creatures on the front, though. I can't feel the shade. <laughs> I think it's a spade. Looks like it's holding a spade. Oh, yeah. Oh, I thought it was... <laughs> I thought it was going to be one of those things you, like, lick and then dip back in, yeah. but it's oh literally a little plastic spade. That's Ready? so funny. Choo Choo's coming into land. How's that? My lips like got glued to it. <laughs> that. It's good flavor. I was expecting that to be overly sweet. Mm. Not too sweet. It's almost like a sherbet dip dab it is. in England. That's exactly what it is. It's that. But instead of having a lolly, a, a lolly or have a little plastic a spade. A lolly. <laughs> a little plastic shade. That, um, it's almost like a white powder and it gets mm. stuck on the roof of your mouth, doesn't it? Yeah. But as kids, I can understand why that's loved. Because mm -hmm. you're just eating sweets. I find that, I, I find those things odd though, because it's so powdery. It's mm. like, I like thing that, things that have got a bit of substance that you can chew on. Yeah. Well, speaking of something you can chew on, this is a Vigo bar. And do you know what? What? It's completely vegan, but tastes exactly like Nutella. It's not healthy though. You'll need to run a good two hours afterwards. 
<laughs> two hours. Just think it how does many feel quite hours dense. we need to run after all of these boxes. I'm pretty sure we tried this in a box before, but I, I think maybe one that. of our first ones. It's so it's chunky. been a while. So a chunky boy. But Nutella's vegan anyway, isn't it? Mm. The size of that. Yeah. One piece. And this is mini. Do you want to bite? I'll fix the you big one. You go first. I'm wondering if the big one's like, you know, one of those one pound bars. Mm. Well, it's not really like Nutella. No. It's like a mm. hazelnut chocolate, but not as creamy as Nutella. No. Which is understandable because it's vegan. Because it's a bar as well. And also it's got the nuts in as well. I think though, like, if you like hazelnuts and you're vegan, mm. this doesn't taste vegan. No. Like, you'd be in heaven eating this, like a like solid I, chocolate bar. I like bar. nuts and chocolate, so that's perfect for me. Do you like that? I like that, yeah. I'm not the biggest hazelnut fan, but I do quite like that. You're not a hazelnuter? No, not a hazelnuter. Right, moving on. Chico's. Yeah, right there at the back. What are these little fellas? <laughs> so these are chocolate lollies in the shape of a baby. Not one of my personal favorites, but honestly, not terrible. <laughs> I'm really excited to try them. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. These are chewy chocolate, chocolate flavored, flavored jelly, jelly beans. Babies. Read what it says on the back. It's a bit morbid. And these are Allen's. A little bit of fun since We've tried Allen's. Read this bit here where it says about... Create smiles one. with cheeky Allen's Chico's and yummy chocolate flavored jelly babies. Squish one, stretch one, bite one's head off before they get up to mischief. Yeah, a bit morbid, isn't it? <laughs> I'm pretty sure we've tried Alex Hopefully before. that's not like a parenting tip. No. I've never tried... Oh Squish my word, one. they're really human. Really hard. Look at the face. Oh yeah. It's a they're bit like, like Tootsie, Tootsie Roll. Tootsie Roll. It's weird to have something that's like a sweet, flavoured like chocolate. Now, we've been sent chocolate covered jelly... Oh no, sorry, gummy bears before. Mm. And I thought they were going to be weird, but absolutely loved them because it's actual chocolate, mm. but when it's a sweet gummy thing that's flavoured chocolate, it's the weirdest it's thing weird. ever. Mm. I really like a Tootsie Roll. I don't like that either, Ruby. I think it's slightly better than Tootsie Roll, mm. but it's still so odd. Mm -hmm. Oh my word, I didn't realise what was in here. Milko's, Sherby's and Redskins. Redskins, do you remember Anna from Tastemade oh, gave us a Redskin? Yeah. I think Redskin is one of the my favourites from Australia. And there's little like goodie bags. She says all childhood treats and favourites. Red skins were and still are very hard to chew through. Please don't try to bite it without sucking it for a long time first. And usually come in a different shape. So we didn't try it like this. It was a thin. Mm. So I'm kind of thinking I'm Milk gonna cross cheese. my legs and put some in my in between my legs, oh, warm them up, them and then do you want one of each? Yeah. And then should we try something else? Yeah. It could be really uncomfortable. I'm so excited that there's um, redskins in there. I just saw that bag and didn't know what was in it. Then we've got nougat honey log. Honestly, don't remember having them often, if not at all. They have been around for a very long time. Lightly roasted peanuts and coconut in honey nougat coated in milk chocolate. This says Europe on the Europe. top. Europe. Is that the maker or what? I don't know. I wonder what this is going to be like. Because we get differing accounts of what nougat is, don't we? Hmm. Oh, Ruby actually said about the Ice Vovo, it's a classic biscuit, but she's not too keen on coconut overall, so she's not a fan. I'm not keen on coconut, but I did quite like that. Mm, that was yeah. hard. Yeah, nougat quite often is. That more is like the texture of our nougat, isn't mm. it? You know, that actual pink mm -hmm. bar you can get. And I like the little bit of crunch underneath. And we've had, that's mm. coconut crunch mm. as well. Mm. I actually quite like that. It's almost like a um, crispy, mm. like a Rice crispy bar. It's almost like a toffee crisp. Mm. A so picnic. far, I can't really taste the peanuts or the coconut. I'm enjoying that. I would give that like a seven and a half. I give that like an eight. Yeah. Oh, I might even push it to an eight. That's really good. Really delicious. Okay, did you want to choose next? Sweet or chocolate? Keep looking at those sweets over there. Mm. These are called glucose gel. Oh, glucose power. Enjoy the delicious taste of gluco jelly beans made with all natural colours, especially formulated for instant glucose power. So my question is, do you eat these as like a sweet treat just after school, after whatever, or are these a sporting thing? I wonder if these are like, like if you're running or... Yeah. Just look at the size of them as well. 
And if they're not for a sporty thing, that just shows how much must be in like jelly beans. Yeah, they're massive compared to some jelly beans you've tried recently. Mmm. Wow. Amazing flavour. Can I try a blue one, please? Yeah, please do. Is that the only one? Mmm. Mmm. I bite it in half. Wow. Oh my word. What flavour is that? Like blue raspberry. Mmm. Mm. That's so good, isn't it? Wow. I think I'm giving them mm. a 10 out of 10. I think they are. <laughs> They're really good. So do tell us if this is a sporting thing. <laughs> if so, are we going to so be bouncing off the walls? So we should probably go for a run. <laughs> <laughs> we're bouncing off the walls anyway, aren't we? Back onto some chocolate before we finish on the red skins and everything. Yeah. Now this excites me. So this is a Whiz Fizz. Now this box was actually sent ages ago, even before Easter. And she says, don't know how early you get your Easter stuff, but in Australia, the supermarkets already have stuff in. Found this and thought it would be interesting. I haven't tried it myself, by the way. So, is this a non-Australian version of a cream egg? Now, you do get Cadbury, so I'm guessing you also get cream eggs. You'd imagine so, so if you? you do, I wonder if it's like big competition between Cadbury's and... I like the um, orange mm -hmm. and pink, don't yeah, you? Yeah, I love the colouring, yeah. It's almost a bit like Holly's bedroom used to be. <laughs> But that was green and purple. Green and purple. <laughs> right, you want to go for the best there bite? You go. It's like dinosaur-y. Yeah. It's got a pop of candy in. I guess that's why it's called a whiz fizz. My word. That's strange, isn't it? Mm. Strange um, sensation. Chocolate, lemon and popping candy. Like a lemon cream. Mm. And then like a lemon popping candy. Mm. I quite like that. I wonder what brand that is. What's the little Cadbury's chocolate bar we have that's just chocolate? Yeah. Does so that have a name? Or I is don't that just, think, I think it does have a name. It just comes in a name. selection box, doesn't it? So we have something kind of like this, but it's longer. And this one's and got thinner. a kangaroo on and it. And what's that? A that's chi... A, a chi... No. Chi... No. Looks like a porcupine. It looks really sweet. My Which mouth is still open? popping. The kangaroo, maybe? Oh no, he's cute. Should we open that? Yeah. Basically just Cadbury's chocolate, but with Australian am animals on the wrappers. My mum used to get them from the Servo, Servo petrol station after she topped up. Yeah, it's just, I broke it, but it's just- That's fine. <laughs> it just Cadbury's. says Cadbury's on it. Well, at least we can taste it and see. <coughs> it does have a different flavor, it doesn't it? definitely does. Where does it say it's made? Well, it's less creamy. Mm. So it says made More in Australia. Chewy. So, um, definitely not as milky. Definitely different taste. It's almost like, um, definitely tastes like a different brand. It tastes like it generic tastes like, chocolate. It tastes like advent calendar chocolate. Mm. Australians probably wonder why we love Capri so much. I would love to know, because that's not, I don't think that tastes as good as ours. No, it doesn't. So, is Capri's one of your top selling chocolates? Or is something else? But... Australians do have a lot of different Cadbury's bars. Do they? So maybe their plain you chocolate doesn't get sold. You can't tell as much when sold. it's a bar, can No, because um, remember we've tried like, um, I'm pretty sure they have lots of different flavoured bars. Mm. So maybe that's popular, but not the single dairy milk. Okay, should we get our sweets out? Yeah, but I don't think they've melted that much. Really? Mine are nice and soft. You can share with me if you want. Oh, I've got two of the same one. <laughs> you Wally. The red skin's really soft, but these aren't that soft. Sherby's. I'm gonna try that. I'm trying to. Oh, that's oh, wow. real soft. That's got like um, sherbet in the middle. Mm. Oh, yeah. It's because it's oh, a hard shell. Oh, the smell goes nice. Whoa. Isn't that tangy? It like um, fizzes up in your mouth. That's so interesting. Wait for it to fizz. Oh my god. Oh. That's a bit my cheek. I hate that. The milk I choose is really nice. It is, isn't it? Mm -hmm. As it says, it is kind of milky, isn't it? So milky and delicious. No. Mm -hmm. It's like Vimto. Oh, it's gone so soft. Mm -hmm. It is like Vimto, isn't it? Mm. For me, a red skin is a 10 out of 10. I think I prefer the Milko, then the red skin, then the sherbet. I'd say red skin and then just very slow uh, little afterwards is the Milko chew. That is absolutely delicious. And then that sherbet. I wasn't actually the biggest fan of that. The no. sherbies. The flavour was a bit too interesting. A bit too interesting. <laughs> but I'm so glad we had more of the Milko chews and the red skins. Oh, and we're done, and we still have a Chokito to enjoy. Chokito, Manito. So it's I such keep... a cool name, isn't it? Chokito. Yeah. I love the branding as well. Yeah, Nestle. Oh, 
That was a really good box. Such a good box. And it's nice to see that, again, <coughs> in Australia, because we've done so much America, in Australia there's also loads of stuff we still yeah. haven't tried. Like that's our third box. Even under the same brand, Arnott's or Arnett's, however you say it, there's three more biscuits we've never tried. Yeah, yeah, Arnett's. Ar I love Ar their Ar crisps. I love their crisps. That just shows, yeah. We're Although like we get Pringles here, it's nice to like try a different flavor. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much Ruby for sending us such an awesome box. I really enjoyed that one. We have actually sent you a box quite a while ago now. We hope you enjoyed everything. Um, if anyone else would like to try any British candy, we have a website with loads of different boxes. We'll leave a link down below and you guys can check it out. But did mm. you enjoy that? I enjoyed it, did you? I really enjoyed that. Such a great mix of flavors, like biscuits. I love it when we get biscuits, it's so mm. nice. Anyway, we hope you enjoyed watching that and we'll see you soon. Bye guys. See ya.